Hello everybody, what I have here is a Buffalo uh, Media Station BRXL PC6U2 uh, Blu-ray DVD CD rewriter. It's got some information here on the box. It takes a 2.0 USB cord. It actually has uh, two of them. One is a power booster. See some information here on the box that it has about it. Some info on the, the back there and uh, it's got some of the rewrite speed information over here so that's the box uh, it comes with um, comes with the instructions and the instructions are awesome I love instructions like this see basically it tells you it's basically it a five-year-old could plug it in very simple uh, that's the instructions for it and uh, it also comes with software for the Buffalo Rider which I did not use and it's got some warranty information right there so that's basically it out of the box here's the actual uh, unit itself right here Buffalo you can see what it has there on the sides there's the cords that you can see and the cords right here have a there you go so you can fold it up back there here's the other side so that's the rider um, it's actually a it's a pretty decent size it's what I mean by decent is that it's it's not too large see here's my hand excuse my hairy hand folks but that's it and um, so physically that's it it doesn't open while it's off see I'm pressing the button it will not open while it's off so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna plug both cords in um, so you know, I, I read up on this. Some people said that uh, they could just boot it up with just one cord, and another one said they could just use two cords. Um, I prefer to use both of them for the booster. If there's a red light, you need a uh, you need both of them. Let's see here it is. Sorry, wrong way. There we go. See, they both plug in there. There's not too much space. Uh, see right there? The wires really aren't too long. So you really don't have too much room to put it away from uh, from your laptop or computer, whatever you want to use this for. So there it goes. Um, the computer I'm using is a Dell Inspiron 15. 15 uh, <clears throat> inch screen. It was originally, a, it's a few couple of years old. Uh, it was originally a Vista and I got it upgraded to uh Windows 8, so I was worried about compatibility issues. I got the free media pack. It was upgraded back uh, last January when the upgrade was available. And so, okay, you heard it start up. It's going on. And uh, I used DVD Fab. So we'll click that up. Give it some time here. Fires right up. There it goes. It's ready to go. See the. Press the button when it's on. Clicks on. No problems. No issues. See the. The real pretty blue lights up. So we'll go. Put it in. On the DVD fab. Just press start. There it goes. It's ready to go. See? It's already uh, going through it. So there you have it, folks. Uh, without installing the software, works like a charm. Now, uh, I'm going to turn it off here because there's something else I wanted to show you. Exit the program here. Okay, now I'm going to do a little no-no for the sake of time and I'm just going to shut this thing off here. Well, see, that's it with one cord. With one USB cord, uh, it works just fine. So on, on my laptop, and mine's, mind you, mine's a couple of years old, it, it can just run off of one. Now, here's the problem, folks. See, I have another USB 
input right there and uh, it just doesn't reach over here either you know I would literally it just doesn't work I would have to get uh, an extension of some kind so if you don't have the port side by side that could be a little bit of an inconvenience for you but uh, as far as reliability I've had this for about two or three weeks now see the booster cord is off and it's still working uh, this would be red if it wasn't and it's fine with this one my, you know my laptop isn't the greatest in the world so if, if you have a newer laptop yours may just work with a with a single cord now, of course depending on the make and model of your laptop of course so as far as reliability I've used this I've uh, used it about 25 times I've left it on for days at a time uh, turning it off very infrequently because I've been using it a lot and no problems no issues uh, so I, I highly recommend this uh, Buffalo Rider and uh, contrary to the name Buffalo you know I thought it was an American product this is actually a Japanese product so I hope this helps with your decision thank you very much for your time have a great day bye